What is good, YouTube? What is good, YouTube? Coming back at you with another fantasy football video and much more. I'm about to let you guys know what I think your team needs in order to have a better record than it was last year. These are only the teams that are in that. Oh, excuse me. These are only the teams that are in the first round. Not every team made up to the first round of the draft, like the Browns and the Panthers and stuff, teams like that. But here we go. Bears, I got quarterback, wide receiver, center, defensive line, and cornerback. Basically, my Bears need everything, okay? But I don't think they should get rid of Justin Fields. But then again, you got to think about the draft next year when it comes to quarterback is slim. So they're in a kind of a pickle, as my granny used to say. Let me know in the comment section what you think the Bears should do. I think they should trade down and get more draft capital. Probably pick up Marvin Harrison and then pick up a very good offensive lineman. And then hope on down the line that there is a quarterback that's suitable for the type of plays that the Bears are going to be uh, executing. If not, I still love Justin Fields. <coughs> I still love Justin Fields. Up next, Washington Commanders. Quarterback, tight end. D-line, defensive end, linebacker, and cornerback. Another team that needs everything, honestly. I mean, Brian Robinson, they got uh, McLaurin, Curtis Samuel. They lost everybody on defense, but is a defensive player worth the number two pick? No. So, I mean, you know, the commanders could... Go to number two, uh, go to number one, draft up and go to number one and get Caleb Williams. Or they could just trade there and take, like I've taken uh, Jaden Daniels. But again, if you're a Commanders fan, let me know in the comment section. The Patriots, quarterback, wide receiver, tackle, defensive end. They got to go quarterback. Unless Marvin Harrison falls to that position at number three. You have to go quarterback. The cards, they need somebody to catch the ball. So, wide receiver is the most glaring position I think the Cardinals should take. The Chargers got running back, wide receiver, tight end, linebacker, defensive line, and quarterback. I mean, you got somebody good throwing to, throwing to them. So, man... I say wide receiver or tight end because Mike Williams not coming back. Keenan Allen is old as fuck. And I can't even remember her, who the Chargers tight end is. So, Atlanta. Hating everybody. Even a tight end. Like, Kyle Pitts, what the fuck happened to you? But I'm going to go... I'm going to go defensive end, man, because I don't think anybody fall, that's good falls there at quarterback or wide receiver. Unless it's, you know, that's around the area of Bo Nix and J.J. McCarthy. And that's a hard one. I'll go defensive end. The Jets, they need offensive line. So I'm going Jets offensive line the whole draft. Broncos. Man. Gonna have to have that there is so many teams that need a quarterback, but there's so few quarterback quarterbacks out there that you could put in these systems. But I'm gonna go with quarterback. Saints, I'm gonna go defensive line. Colt my Colts, God I hope they take a tight end. 
Because <clears throat> here's the thing. Michael Pittman needs a, is a free agency. So if he don't come back, who do we got? Besides JT. So I'm going to go wide receiver and or, hint, hint, tight end. Brock Bauer. Come to Indianapolis Colts, please. Seattle. I'm going to go guard or center. Sorry. I know these are not pretty and more. Ooh, ah. Glamorous positions, but man, they are my favorite. Jaguars. I hope they do not go defensive back because Nate Wiggins is still floating around that area. And I don't want my Colts to go up against him at all. I got the Rams. I would say offensive line, but quarterback, because the Stafford coming back is a Cooper Cup. Puka Nakua, we know coming back, but these folks are getting old up there. The Steelers got center, linebacker, and defensive back. Man, if they can find somebody to help J.J. Watt on that defense, man. Go linebacker or defensive back. Get a nasty motherfucker, too. I got Dolphins, tight end, or offensive line. Go offensive line and keep two out of the concussion protocol, please. Eagles, wide receiver, linebacker, defensive back. I'm going defensive back because their secondary just absolutely is trash. Texans got the wide receiver, tight end. Defensive line and linebacker. I think they go defense. Cowboys. I got them going center. Because I like Jackson Power Johnson to the Cowboys. The Bucks got running back, tight end, guard, center, defensive end, linebacker, and cornerback. <coughs> uh, again, these aren't pretty picks. But go guard or center. Keep uh, Baker Mayfield rocking. The Bills, got, I got wide receiver, tackle, defensive line, linebacker, defensive back. I don't think Gabe, Gabe Davis is there, and I don't think Stephon Diggs is there. So I'm going to go wide receiver. If they both stay there, I'm going to go defensive back or linebacker because the, uh, the Buffalo Bills uh, defense is... Sucks, too. The Lions. You got guard, center, linebacker, and cornerback. I think they're pretty good on offense, so I'm going to go line, uh, defensive line or cornerback. Man, if they can get somebody to help uh, Aiden Hutchinson off that line, oh, my God. The Niners, I got offensive line and cornerback. I'm going to go offensive line because I think that's where they got really beat in the Super Bowl. Wide receiver or defensive line. I'm going wide receiver for the Chiefs. And the Ravens got wide receiver, defensive line, or cornerback. I don't know about Odell Beckham. All depends on what they do. And again, this all depends on what people do in free agency. This whole thing I'm doing right now will definitely change after free agency. So I'm going to go with... Wide receiver for right now for the Ravens. But that's all I got for you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Watch my other live that I did this morning. Follow me on Twitter, which is Girls Advice of Views of Fantasy Football. And uh, as always, stay blessed. Be a blessing to somebody. But above all, stay high, my friends.